Hello, I'm Anne Neuberger, Deputy National Security Advisor for Cyber and Emerging Technology. Given the history of Russia's use of cyber, it's important that we do all we can to prepare and maximize our resilience. Here are some things you can do, whether you're an individual or a company or enterprise. As an individual, patch your systems. Software, hardware is often full of vulnerabilities. If you quickly patch, you've locked your digital doors. Second, use multi-factor authentication instead of merely a password. We use the same password so frequently or they're so short that they're quickly compromised. Multi-factor authentication, a second factor, whether a fingerprint or a code on a system that you purchase, make sure that when you access systems, they're sure that it's you. If you're an enterprise, President Biden's executive order mandated a set of practices for the federal government. Do the same things for your company. They'll ensure that, again, you've not only locked your digital doors, you've put on an alarm system to quickly detect and block malicious activity. And finally, exercise your incident response plan. Pretend as if something has happened and run it through with your leadership teams to ensure everybody understands their roles, understands the information that they need, and has exercised backup procedures that could help in a time of crisis. The U.S. government has briefed sensitive intelligence across the private sector to critical infrastructure owners and operators in unprecedented ways. However, at this moment in time, there is no credible specific threat via cyber to the United States. So everything that we're doing is to ensure we're prepared in case there is a threat in the future.